here at Darrell Beard Adventures this year we've got a brand new Iveco Euro Cargo truck. Uh, it's 15 ton. The whole thing's been custom made from the fuel tanks underneath to where we store the riding gear up in the in the back there, all the food and the cooking gear, the, all the rest of it. We've also got the Narva headlights and light bars on the top there to get us through the nighttime driving if we need to. Um, we've run it on the Michelin X tyres, they're the same as what the Army uses, um, which are very capable tyres for the desert, um, quite wide and you can run them down on very low pressures to get over the dunes. Okay, let's go and have a look inside. Okay, packing up all the bunkers into the truck here. Thanks, kid. So we've got these boxes here. They've got the, all the kitchen stuff, the pots and pans, whatnot. Food in the bottom one, all the dry goods and wraps and stuff. Motorbike and truck spare parts. We've got all the these are the lunch boxes for the boys when they have something for, uh, to keep it insulated, cool or hot for lunchtime. Underneath we've got the big gas burner and stuff and a few more lunch boxes and kettle. So we've got in the media station here, we've got the three kilowatt inverter. So we can now run a toaster and a kettle and stuff in the mornings. Uh, makes it a bit quicker and more efficient. Also got the USB chargers over here for the boys with their phones and cameras and stuff. Um, and uh, cigarette lighter things as well, 12 volt. So we put all our sleeping bags and beds and stuff up in there in those bags. A little bit of other stuff in the corner. Then we got the four Waco fridges, 110 litre. So we normally run this as a fridge and three freezers. Um, with the, a lot of the foods we pre-cook and cry back so it's just to ease out on the track. Um, we've got the medical kits here, ready to get at if we need them. We've got a defibrillator up there for Brad. As he needs it. Um, <clears throat> so for this trip we had to pack an extra fridge because uh, the tour was so long and we had a full crew so we needed some uh, refreshments along the way. Also got the 15 litre drums here for the waste oil out of the bikes as we service halfway along because the, the trip's about 1800 quick so halfway along we do an oil change and filters. So here's the drinking water container it's a thousand litres on uh, in this side and then a third of it over the other side is 400 litres for showers. Um, along the way, we, well, our pump's in there, but we pump from the wells for the shower water. So we have ample drinking water for the trip, but we do have to top up along the way for showers. In the back here, oh, there's a bit of gear, gear in here at the moment as well, but normally we have room for two motorcycles, one spare, and then if someone has an accident or anything along the way, we can put their bike in the back and sort that out. Uh, tools and stuff. Airlines and the fuel system hangs up there, for fueling up in the mornings. We've got petrol for the motorbikes here. Um, big, big uh, 600 litre tank for the truck. So we've got a, even got a hot water shower for the boys after a long ride. Just pull that open, pull her out. It's run on diesel, the same as the truck, so it's very, obviously very easy. We don't need any other fuels or gas or anything to run it. Um, the Waco group make it. I think it's uh, Dometic and it's basically just preset to the temperature. The boys love it. Okay inside the cab here we've got the air CTI control panel so we can set our pressures for the highway say 70 psi in the front. In the rear we can go straight to 95. When we go to the gravel roads we can go down to the next level and it's slightly less pressure for the stony roads. Or when we're in the desert we can go straight to 36 psi for the rear for example. 30 for the front. Um, we've also got our iPads with our HEMA maps on them so we know exactly where we are at all times. We have an inReach um, EPIRB here so if you go to the Dalbeatty's website, Dalbeatty Adventure website, you can track us. We turn it on when we leave in the mornings and turn it off when we get there at night. It also is a, an SOS um, uh, safety feature so if there was a, a major catastrophe <laughs> you can just press SOS and Cavalier and come running.